Hey everybody, this is Becky from Power Tools with Thread. You won't believe what happened. I, we were in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and we are making our way back to Texas eventually, and our RV got parked right next to Beth. And Beth, you're a weaver, right? Spinner weaver. Spinner weaver. And you, so you guys full time it, right? Yes, Okay. since November. Since November. What made you decide to full time? Five years ago, we had a little sea camper. We uh -huh. came out to Colorado to see my late husband's sister, who at that time was 93. And uh, we had two weeks, and we saw her. Then we went to Texas, and then out 40, and through Oklahoma, etc. And on on the way home, I said to my husband, we should sell everything and live on the road. Wow. It took us five years, because I had a property. He had a property. Okay. We did it. As soon as I met her, I said, hey, I just did a video with Vanessa in San Angelo, Texas from the Fiber Co-op, and she's a spinner weaver, and she looks at me and she says, I do alpacas, and that's exactly what Vanessa did. And I, she's like, you want to come in and see? And I said, well, heck yeah, I want to come in and see. <laughs> and I think you guys would want to see too. As soon as I walked into this RV, you guys... <laughs> Those of you with passions like mine, y'all know how my husband has indulged me with the sewing room makeover and all of that and driving around the country. Well, Beth is married to one of those sweethearts as well. So your address is out of Pennsylvania, Correct. right? Yeah. And what brought you to Wyoming? Basically, we went to visit my late husband's sister again, right. who's now 99. She's 99. Yeah, who gave me these. Okay, right. right. Which you'll look at. And... Then my husband's never been to South Dakota to see Crazy Horse and all that. But oh, okay. right now is the bike rally. Right, Sturgis. So this is our just layover, stopover. Okay. And Until can, Sturgis is over and then and you guys then, will move yeah, on. Then then okay, next Sunday we're leaving. Oh, leave. yeah. So we were coming down from Rigby, Idaho and heading this way. And the bikes going past us just heading up to Sturgis was just crazy. Yeah. So I think that's like next week. Yeah, it starts yeah it's 10 next days. Week. Well, 10 days. Sundays, yeah. Okay. It's over Sunday. So I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and I'm going to let Beth show me around. And you guys won't believe what's in this RV. It's amazing how people travel. It's crazy. Okay. So uh, let me do this. We are here in the AB Camper RV Park in Cheyenne, Wyoming. And we were placed next to this RV right here. There's Harley. And uh, Keith's sitting there visiting with the neighbor, like usual. And there's Blue sitting underneath his legs. And this is Clay. And this is Bridget. How old is Bridget? Bridget's three. Oh, she's three. She's precious. Hello, beautiful. So as soon as I saw this Timeless Treasures panel on the front of the RV. I said, oh, she's a quilter. But no, she's a weaver. <laughs> hello, hello, pretty girl. Bye, hello, pretty girl. Oh, oh, let me get by you. Oh. <laughs> Watch your head, that mirror in the pillow. <laughs> this, is your, this is your baby one? Baby wolf. Wolf. It's, yeah, yeah, that's the name of it. So this is a loom. Yes, and that's out of uh, Boulder, uh, Colorado. And when I bought it, it was missing four harnesses and the lady had passed away and I bought it from her son. Where the harnesses went, I don't know. It's supposed to be eight harnesses. So we stopped in Kansas and ordered from another place because I can't deal with the company direct four more harnesses. So we're going back to Kansas when we're done with South Dakota to pick up the harnesses. Wow. So That's it, awesome. Now how, how big does that thing stretch out to? Uh, it's pretty, it, it'll go out about this wide. Really? Yeah. And do you do it inside or outside? Oh, here. Okay. Yeah, I just, okay. I just moved that over here and that there. So this is what, when I saw this, I said, oh my goodness, let me go get my camera. Look yeah. what she's got in her RV. So I cannot believe the setup. You just, what used to be here that you moved out? A couch? Yeah, there was a couch there. Okay. And so, behind where the loom is. Yeah. There was a couch. Yeah. And then what was this, here? This is a desk, but... Uh, which was here, and but it had a, a table that would come out. Oh, okay. But I don't care about a kitchen table. <laughs> oh, so this was like your dinette desk yeah, area? Yeah, okay. yeah. So I just work here. Okay. And then we use these if we want to eat in here. Sure. Folding, you know. Yeah. My needs are, are small. And light, yeah. Yeah. So, and so I have 
this is this is actually this is alpaca that I'm what they call picking. I'm cleaning it and I'm prepping it to cart it. Actually, the alpaca's name is Zoe. <laughs> is that your alpaca? No, I okay. wish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but you can see I'm, I just love alpaca. Oh, little stuffed alpaca. Um, That's so cute. The lady is from the border of Pennsylvania, New York, and she has 38 of them. And I was like, there it's Peruvian, which is like your grade A. Right. Um, I don't know a thing about spinning, weaving, alpacas, anything. I'm a quilter. So and machine embroiderers. So it, this is all new to me. So don't yeah, feel like you're talking down to me because you're you're teaching me something here. I love it's it. It's hypoallergenic. Yeah. You know, and it's it's to me it's I I rather work with alpaca than wool. I okay. get picky from wool and it's just once I started working with alpaca I just I have bags of it which I'll show you. So where did you get this contraption? I ordered it from the company. Oh. Um yeah, this is just uh, so now, what? How did that get red? Is did you, do you uh, dye? That is silk. Oh, that's silk. I I card silk in with my um, alpaca. Oh, look! Because when you more you spin, any spinner would know, um, the the smoother your yarn gets. Okay. It, it, it's, I mean, you can make it clumpy, but this I I like really textured stuff. Uh huh. And so I just one day started playing with it with silk and I just break it off and I have a, I, I cheat, I have a hand crank carter and I just card it in. I don't know what that means, but okay, I'll take your word right for here's it. Here's my carter. And I just, you can actually see hunks of silk in here for wow. me carding this in. You put it on here. You don't need that there. And then you turn the crank and it cards. I also have hand carter, but for as much as I do, they, they bite. Oh, yeah. They do bite. Wow. Yeah. How cool. Yeah. So. Um, wow. And these are all just like different yarns that I didn't spin um, that I do. Like uh, in September, I do it. It's called Preservers of the Past. Um, Let me see. Turn around again. Let me see. Preservers of the Past, yeah. Sugarloaf, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Nice. It's our local area, and I've done it for five years. This will be my fifth year, and I spin and weave, and I already have that warp for. Uh, a scarf, and I let people um, come up and sit and and weave. Uh -huh. You know, I just like show them how to do it. Right. I don't care what treadle they they push, and some get interested and actually like buy their own looms or spinning wow. wheels yeah uh it's and it's fun because it's right in our local area um yeah. so we just we ha we do it every year because we have so much fun there and we're driving all the way back to pennsylvania in the middle of september just to do that awesome yeah so, so show me around here what these um, things here are on the, on the wall that you were showing me earlier okay my sister-in-law uh yeah. who is not now 99 belonged to um an embroidery guild or I, I guess out of Colorado Springs and she did these pieces I was lucky enough to uh, inherit them uh, she gave them to me um, those wow. she gave me she mailed them to me about a year or so ago she's getting rid of stuff and actually we kind of had an argument because I kept telling her I live in a motorhome and I can't take everything yes you can uh, <laughs> I know. Yeah, you get you get tight for space. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean, Sunday she gave me this. I I finally I had to take. She's trying to give me the bedspread off her bed. Yeah. You know, it was from Guatemala, and I've been in Guatemala, and she knows that. And then this. So what is this with the ribbon? This is uh, a 2010 blue ribbon. Yeah. This one. Can like, you bring that into the light? Yeah. So it, can... It's a dark, dark stitchery. Uh huh. Um, but it's one like best of show and all kind of money awards and she gave me a necklace also that went with a, a, one of the so is this embroidery yeah this, hand, and hand, hand, hand stitched and machine stitched wow yeah look at this you guys and she wanted me to have this prize and it's like i don't even have a place to hang it 
but it hangs. And I take everything down before we move the motor. Sure, home, everything you know? has to stow. That yeah. is fabulous yeah. hand stitching. I felt so honored that she would. She just really wanted me to have it. Well, sure. And yeah, you know, I had to have the information on the back. Good, good. You know? Yes. Everything about it. That is fabulous. What ribbon. was her name? Her name is Ruth Horton. Okay. Uh, we were just to, we spent two weeks down in Colorado. She lives in Longmont. Uh, we just spent two weeks with her and just had, she's amazing. She, she's so amazing and so funny for being 99. She's so funny. 99. Hey, I, I recycle blue jeans. These are blue jean rugs that I've made. Really? Out of, you know, just on, not that loom, another loom. Um, that's how, an how come they're not blue? Uh, well, you can look on the sides and see they are blue. Wow. It's the warp color that makes them look a different color. Oh, wow. And this happens just to be rug yarn that I had. And I had somebody in Pennsylvania that wanted um, to look through some of my rugs to buy. And so I quick, uh, when I was in Iowa, wove a couple up on the loom that's there. So you were starting to show me things you have okay. woven. Um, these are all, this is all alpaca. This is hand spun, uh, hand knitted alpaca socks I did. Oh, they're soft. Oh, they're warm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That was my first attempt of <laughs> hand spun. I don't know if I'll do that again. <laughs> but And then this is stuff. Uh, this is hand spun alpaca and, uh, and hand woven. It's gorgeous. How pretty. Like, and none of this is dyed. All like the, the color in here, that is alpaca and silk. Wow. Carded together. I don't, no dyeing. Everything is natural. Wow. And th this is a, from a beige alpaca. All the color of beige came from the one alpaca. Huh. Look at all of this. Of course, I like to kind of throw in macrame and everything Sure. Else. Put some ribbons in there. Yeah, add some bling, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, you know. And then this is like my personal set that I made mitts to match. And, and this is alpaca and soy silk with pieces of silk carded in. Huh. The soy silk is what made it blue. This is really soft. Let me see. Oh, it is. It doesn't feel itchy or anything. Mm -mm. Wow. This is gorgeous. I couldn't wear anything. I don't have anything like that because where I live, it's always over 100 degrees. Oh my degrees. gosh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Die. Yeah, and so... Um, this is how I get my alpaca. It's just raw. Like, Look at that. Wow. And, and it ends up like this. I like anything I do, I like to start with the very raw product. Right. If I do leather, I like to start the raw, you know, just a sheet of leather and then end up with a purser. That is a fascinating. Yeah. And this is fascinating. I can't believe there's an RV going down the road with a spinning wheel in it. Two, and two, two, two actually, spinning yeah, wheels. <laughs> yeah, actually, there's... Isn't that crazy? The wheel back here. I don't want to come back in your bedroom. No, that's all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll take a tour of Beth's RV. Yeah. This is the wheel. To Holy the wheel. moly. The, the other half is out front. Yeah. What do you do with that? It's spin on it. Now, the, the story behind this wheel, my, my aunt gave it to me. When I was a little girl, and my brothers were little, we used to go to their house and play on it. So I was very fortunate, I felt, that she, you know, she loves fiber, that she gave it to me. It needed... How do you spin on a wagon wheel? It's not a wagon wheel. It's a, did you ever see the big walking wheels? The big walking... Big... They call them grand wheels, grand no. wheels, walking wheels. No. You, you, you're talking Greek to me completely. <laughs> That's fascinating. I'll be yeah, done. It, it goes on that base out there. And I have um, the other parts wrapped up in bubble wrap. So wow. They um, That's insane. They're all individually made. I mean, nothing's made on a machine. Okay, yeah, so they're all handcrafted. At, yeah, everyone is And different. you played with this one when you were a little girl. Yes. Can I ask how old you are? Uh, I'm 69. Oh, wow. Yeah. So this thing is held up the test of time. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's traveling all over the country. I don't leave it behind, you know, even as bulky as it is. It, writes, uh, it actually lays on the bed when we travel. Sure, sure. And then um, this is 
you can see I have a lot of alpaca. Holy cow! That's and all I raw alpaca? Them, and this is just all supplies of, um, for weaving and whatever. Wow. That's crazy that you do this on the road. I have nowhere else to do it now. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Necessity is the mother of invention, right? So. Oh, I wanted to show you what the bats look. So when I take... This is what it, they look like when they come off my carding machine. Oh. And when I spin on this, I just take and I pull off a piece like this. Okay. And then I spin it. And it comes out like this. Well, show me how you do that. Sure. Oh, she's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so walk me step by step what it is that you're doing here. She took her shoes off, so she's doing it stocking footed. Okay. Oh, look, you, they go back and forth like little, like a pedal car. Mm -hmm. I'll be darned. And now I'm just. Now, what are you doing there? To that string that was sticking out. Uh huh. And I'm just, this and, is, I'm drafting. Okay, and so it's pulling. This is called drafting. Uh huh. And now I'm t letting it go in. Fascinating. I love it. I love spinning. And then to make something out of what you've done. Yeah. You know, it's just. That's that is so neat. Preservers of the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now see what's happening with the clumps. See, they just kind of went right into the, right. To the yarn. So you have to get kind of a rhythm going, mm -hmm. a certain speed, so it works right. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go too fast. Um, for anybody that wants to learn to spin, the best thing to do when you buy your spinning wheel is for the first month, just sit and treadle. Read a book, whatever. You know, don't put yarn don't, on it. Don't, don't do anything with don't yarn. Don't do anything just, with yarn. Just treadle on, on you know. Some, just get your feet used to the, yeah. it's kind of like machine quilting. You want to just get used to how the machine feels on the, mm -hmm. on the long arm frame. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to have to think about your feet. Right. Because you're worried about your fingers and what they're doing. Mm -hmm. This is fascinating. In an RV, no less. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So you take the raw alpaca mm -hmm. and then you put it on that carding thing mm -hmm. and you get it all smooth and soft like that mm -hmm. and you card it with silk to give it color mm -hmm. and texture and texture. Put yeah. it on the spinning wheel. Uh, yeah, and, I spin it and yeah. then, then I knit it or whatever. Wow. Whatever I'm going to do. That is so cool. All right, you guys, so this is it. This is Beth, and Beth, thank you so much. This was such a treat. I've never seen anything like this in my <laughs> life, and I'm old. <laughs> so uh, I wish you happy travels. Oh, thanks, and, and you too. All right, we'll hope talk we, to you hope later. Hope we meet again on the road sometime. You never know. No, you don't. All right. <laughs> Maybe at a fiber fest. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. Go sew something. Bye. Bye.